Today I'm doing a review on the new set of Shuttle Art Markers that I got this last week from Amazon. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I've had my first set of Shuttle Art Markers since around 2017-2018. And this came in a set of 50. The price point was $24.99 and it was on sale then. I want to compare these with the new set I just got. This is a set of 60 with one blender. This is the blender. And here's all the different colors. I did swatch them out. And I just wanted to go through some differences and some similarities. The reason I bought these was because after two and a half years, some of these had kind of messed up a little bit. Let me see if I can find one. As you can see already, they are bigger. Almost twice, I would say, the circumference. And they also have this, uh, the big one, and the little, littler one. I'm not sure what they're conforming to, to be honest. Okay, for instance, here's one where the, uh, the nib is getting all just not out as firm falling apart and here's another example when I pulled off for the fine tip this is what this is what happened I have several of these that have done this so I can't use a small end but it depends on the size of what I'm coloring of course I can use the broad tip but again you can tell that it's starting to get worn down a little bit after two and a half years. And an obvious, an obvious difference is that you see the names of the colors along with the numbers on the big ones, but not here. So basically I just did a, the color swatch and I'll just go by the colors. These were also on sale, but the price point for 60 plus the blender is only $19.99. I will link these down in my description box. Another thing I learned is I'm going to have to lay them down. I think that was my main problem with this, is that I did not lay them down flat. I left them straight up and down, which that's another advantage of their size is they are small enough to where I can lay the whole thing down in the little cubby hole where I keep it. That'll just make sure that the ink stays level and adequately feeds both ends. So let's go ahead and color and blend and see how that goes. It's very, very similar. It's, it's almost shading all by itself because the colors are so close. Let's go ahead and blend. Okay, they blended and there is no blue on the tip. And I could 
even if there was, I could go like that. So I think this is going to be an advantage having a blender. Now let's go ahead and use my old shuttle art markers. See, there's these are the two colors that I thought were the closest to these two. But the darker is Indian blue. And then sky blue. Now see, there is a difference. There's a little bit more difference in color here. And to be honest, I'm afraid to blend because I'm sure the newer ones have a different formulation and that works specifically with this blender. So all in all, I think I will still be using these along with these. These give a much more variation of color. Very, very similar. So I think they'd make for a really good shading effect without too much contrast. I think these newest set of shuttle art markers are a really great deal. $19.99, 33 cents a piece. And I hope to get as much use out of them or more that I have these. They lasted me five years and they are still usable. Most of them anyway. Thank you so much for joining me and please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you'd like to see my upcoming projects and be notified. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.